Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to the Day One Podcast. I am your host, Adam Daly. I also work for the support team at Day One, and uh, I'm excited to bring you a short little episode today, but I know I had some feedback asking what happened to the show, <laughs> and honestly, it's pretty much just life. Um, I'm fortunate enough to, to be able to work from home since pretty much everything I do is online, and uh, it's been that way for several months, and maybe you're feeling that as well. It's uh, crazy times, everyone. I'm, I'm just going to be real with you here, so st- strap in. I won't, I won't be no TMI or anything, but, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, stressful. I'm sure we all want, we want things to get back to normal, and what does that look like? What does normal look like? Uh, certainly is a challenging question to consider. Um, but yeah, so li- life is just here. Uh, homeschooling a couple of children, not, not homeschooling, but doing online school. So uh, my roles have expanded, uh, that of parent, a uh, person who lives at work now. I, that's the joke I like to say. Uh, and then also trying to remember uh, seventh grade math, and, and, uh, <laughs> and I'm also helping with a kindergartner at home. So a lot of fun, but certainly does take up time, and, and uh, the podcast is an awesome thing. that I, I just love podcasting. It's fun for me. But it's certainly something that uh, you know it's p- was put on the back burner a little for a little while there while I tried to get into routine. But I've got a few minutes here today, so I just wanted to touch base with everyone and talk about some things uh, with day one. Um, I don't have a ton of roadmap stuff today, but I've got some things I can talk about that we've been working on. First of all, uh, how exciting are the new widgets for iOS 14 and uh, Mac OS 11 Big Sur? Uh, these are just a fun way, a fun, engaging way to have your content right there on your home screen. I, I'm a big fan. I hope you have checked these out and uh, are, are familiar with them. The new day one widgets for iOS on iOS 14 uh, are really cool. We've got the daily prompt widget, the on this day widget. That's one of my favorites, obviously. I've mentioned that probably a million times on this podcast, but I love that click, uh, sorry, quick glance of, of some entries in the past and when you tap on one of those cells, it'll open up the app right to that entry. It's fantastic. Uh, and then the streak widget to keep an eye on how many days in a row you've been creating entries. Uh, that one for me is very motivational. I know for some, you know, it feels more gamified and stuff like that, but I love being able to see my progress and, and keep those habits going. Uh, building a habit is something I've been trying to work better on. Uh, you know, I've been tracking my streaks with the iBooks app. I guess it's just called books now, but it'll keep track how many days in a row I meet my reading goal and uh, just trying to do some, you know, self-help and take care of myself during all of this uncertainty and and crazy times. Uh, So streaks, that's another one. And then the today widget is also great where it will show you an example of uh, maybe some photos that you've taken on a certain, on that date uh, or locations that you've been tap on that to jump right into the today view to start creating your entries. Um, and that's, that's another thing. I don't know if we've actually talked much, maybe we did last time, uh, talked much about the today view, which is new in day one. It replaces the old activity feed and then also combines a way to view your entries on that, on that date. Plus see sources for content that you could create new entries, including photos, places, and events. So it really allows you to go back in for me, one of the strong points about today and, and, uh, Maybe you've found different uses for it, but for me, it's great for retroactively journaling where I can go back to a different date, see photos I've taken on that day or locations that I've been, and that really helps me jumpstart into creating entries and and having content ready to go. And these just came out with our 5.6 release on Mac for Big Sur. Both of those are required in order to use the widgets on Mac, but that'll be just in the notification center as well. And uh, same once, the streak the daily prompt today on this day. Those are all available on Mac as well. Check those out. Really great way to start journaling or having a quick view of your journal without having to go into the app. Uh, I'm a big fan and I've, maybe you've tried different widgets for different apps as well, but see if these might fit, uh, into your home screen. What, uh, which ones do you have? Um, maybe on the tweet that I post this podcast episode about, Share a, uh, a screenshot of what your home screen looks like if you're using day one widgets. 
really fun way to journal. Um, and that being said, also on Mac, we are working towards building a compatible version for the new Apple Silicon chips. Silicon? Silicon? Um, so stay tuned for that. I don't have any details on it yet, but it is something we will be working on. And as usual, we are working on things behind the scenes just as quickly as we can. Usually towards the end of a year, it turns into more of a, a maintenance period for us, making sure we're cleaning up the code, releasing, um, you know, just bug fixes and stuff like that. So the team is working on those things and then get started on newer stuff after the first of the year. That's generally what happens uh, in my experience. Man, I've almost been here for five years. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, some cool things. Widgets. We're very excited about widgets. And what else? Oh, book printing. I wanted to talk about book printing real quick. Uh, book printing, ever since it was launched, was a huge hit with our users. Being able to print out really nice looking books of your content, uh, put them on your bookshelf, share them, pass them on to posterity. They're really cool. And uh, most of our users are able to use this feature just fine. We do know that there are a couple of bugs affecting some users that are on, are under investigation. And one of the big things that we've been working on is rebuilding the PDF export layout stuff for books that'll match more what we're doing in the app itself. And so that's a, that's been a major project that we've been working on. We were trying to get it done by end of summer. It's still being worked on right now, but we're going to be running some test prints very soon and then getting that out as soon as it's of you know as soon as it's ready to go to you uh <laughs> sometimes i feel like and i think one of our engineers have mentioned this before but uh sometimes the last 1% of of development uh, can take the longest cuz you're you know fine tuning it and just making sure everything works so but that is something we are working on right now trying to get uh that done and then shipped out to you so that you can continue to uh do the books and we we believe this is going to address uh, most of those issues that some people have been running into, um, because a lot of it seems to be, you know, in creating the PDF view of the book, etc. So we're hoping this will address those, and then if not, we'll keep drilling down on those other issues once this uh, these PDF layouts are are done and shipped for book printing. So stay tuned for that. Keep an eye on the release notes for the App Store, or I also have a web page at help day1app.com. I had to think about it for a second. Uh, but go to that web page. Those are all of our help tutorials. And if you search release notes, you can see the release notes pages for each one of our platforms. And uh, just keep an eye on that for details about when those releases will be available. Um, yeah. And then I, oh, I did want to men make mention of Android because I know um, we've, we've had questions about that and I want to make sure I give it some time here on the show. Uh, we did have to delay the Android development, and I, I mentioned this previously, but uh, we we have put together a roadmap for Android improvements. We're going to be working on them as quickly as possible. In fact, there should be an update on Android coming soon, version 1.2.5, and it, it's, it's mostly a, an exploratory update where... We're trying to get more details about certain issues that people are running into on Android. But we hope to have some updates uh, in the next few months. We appreciate your patience on that. Thank you so much. Uh, in a similar vein, the web app uh, will probably, it'll probably be sometime next year uh, because we're still working on things on the back end to get ready for that as far as sync goes and everything like that. So those are the big updates that I've got for you right now. Um, just a short little episode. I do want to have uh, get back to having guests on and talking about journaling in a, in a more uh, broad way and, and, and their experience with day one, et cetera. And I've got uh, some people lined up for that. So stay tuned. We'll, we'll get this, we'll get this going and we'll find a rhythm, but uh, thank you for your patience in some of the releases of these, of these podcast episodes. Uh, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing the best you can. Please stay safe. Um, if you need any assistance with day one, you can always contact our support team. Generally, our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Uh, but you can leave an email and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Generally, we respond within a couple of hours. Uh, but yeah, let us know if you need any help or go to our help guides at help.dayoneapp.com. Thank you so much for tuning in to this short little episode. I hope you have a great rest of your week. I'm going to release this right away so you can hear it. And uh, we'll talk to you next time.